Hi, and welcome to Irvine's Hidden Histories. I'm Dave Irig, and this is Ellen Bell. Today we're in Old Town Irvine, a collection of preserved buildings that make up Irvine's historic district. So join us now and discover Irvine's Hidden Histories right here in a modern day city. The Irvine Ranch was once one of the leading producers of lima beans in the world, and the preserved buildings and warehouses found in Old Town Irvine were the storage and shipment center. In fact, some would say it was Irvine's first downtown. After the Santa Fe Railroad purchased a right-of-way across the Irvine Ranch, James Harvey Irvine set aside 320 acres of land in this area to form the original town center. The town began only as a small covered shelter next to the train tracks and a grain warehouse. But as agriculture operations grew, buildings sprang up providing services to the farmers who lived and worked in the area. At first, the town was named Myford after James Irvine's son, but the town's name was officially changed to Irvine in 1914. One of the highlights of Old Town Irvine is Knollwood's Burgers. But this rustic building isn't just decorated to look old. It was actually built in 1908 and was home to Irvine's first blacksmith shop. Willard Culver operated the blacksmith shop, which was a busy place in the growing town. The shop kept farmers' equipment, wagons, machinery, and more in good repair. In 1912, Culver lost part of his leg in a shootout with the Tomato Springs Bandit, causing the townspeople to affectionately nickname him Gimpy. In 1928, the shop was sold to Gene Thomas, who ran the operation until 1978. Eventually, it was converted into the Knollwood Hamburger Restaurant. Today, visitors not only get a great hamburger, but also a glimpse at Irvine history, since some of the original tools, cattle brands, and pictures are on display in the dining room. In 1912, an enterprising young woman by the name of Kate Munger opened the first general store. Designed by architect Chris McNeil, who also designed Balboa Pavilion and the Orange County Courthouse, this store became an iconic landmark in the 1970s. Complete with a post office and 94 brass post office boxes in front, the store sold everything from milk and bread to chewing tobacco and blue jeans. The store also sold gas from a crank pump behind the store. Many of Irvine's youth at the time have fond memories of stopping at the general store for a penny candy and an ice cold Coke. In 1913, James Irvine asked Chris McNeil to design and build the Irvine Hotel that was used to house seasonal farm workers who came to work the Irvine Ranch during harvest season. In 1895, the field harvest crop was growing, so James Irvine had this warehouse built next to the Santa Fe Railroad line. At full capacity, it could store up to 200,000 sacks of beans and barley. The warehouse was built in six months' time and used 140,000 board feet of pure pine. The floors were made of thick walnut planks, all of it hand-selected and cut by a steam-driven sawmill. During harvest season, a long line of wagons would wait to unload the field crops, giving the young town the nickname of Bean Town. Today, part of the well-preserved warehouse is home to Matson Creative, an award-winning graphic design firm. Also in Old Town Irvine is one of the most unique hotels in California. This converted granary is now home to La Quinta Inn, which provides guests with a one-of-a-kind experience. In 1949, the decision to move to a more efficient method of bulk processing led to the construction of a new warehouse structure. The new warehouse was made up of 32 concrete silos set in a honeycomb pattern. Each silo could hold 16 million pounds of beans and barley. The warehouse became the home of the Irvine Bean and Grain Growers Association until it was closed in 1971. In 
1986, the warehouse was converted into a La Quinta Inn, providing a historic place to stay for an evening. To maintain the structure of the building, rooms have unique shapes while children enjoy an up-close view of the passing trains. Some things in Old Town Irvine are still the same. For instance, in 1929, a service station and cafe sat on the very same location where the Union 76 station and the Jack in the Box sit today. But don't just take our word for it. Come out and check out this amazing place for yourself and discover Irvine's hidden histories. And for more information about Irvine history, visit the Irvine Historical Society at 5 San Joaquin in Irvine, next to the Rancho San Joaquin Golf Course. We'll see you next time.